for about 20 years, we've kicked this can down the road with trying to find a solution for cell phones, illegal cell phones in our prisons. It has become one of the most significant security threats that we have in our facilities. Uh, not only in Tennessee, but in other states. And these cell phones, make no mistake, are not being used to, for the inmate to call a family member in most cases. These cell phones are being used to carry on illicit activity, both inside our facilities as well as used to communicate uh, with the public uh, for illicit activity in most cases. The calls that I usually receive late at night or in the afternoons or on weekends that involve bad things that happen in prison, 99% of the time a cell phone is directly tied in one way or another to that activity. What we need is a sustainable, affordable solution. Despite the best efforts of our outstanding correction officials, you know, we need some help from uh, the uh, Federal Communications Commission to uh, give us the tools we need to uh, eradicate this, the use of these cell phones by inmates within the prison. This is a, an enormous problem. There are too many people that are being threatened on the inside now. Correctional officers are being threatened. Uh, witnesses to court cases are being threatened. Uh, they're able to smuggle drugs into the prisons because of the use of these cell phones. And it's... Uh, uh, it's it's an, an enormous problem. So I'm glad that we're addressing this. We need to keep going with uh, every method that we can to, to reduce this huge problem. In Tennessee, in 2005, we had a corrections officer murdered. A cell phone was used in the planning of that escape and that murder. One of our officers was shot and killed in the parking lot at the Roan County Courthouse. And Mr. Chairman, for as long as I live, I will never forget that scene that I saw that morning. We have to have a technology that will uh, make cell phones inoperable inside of our facilities to resolve this issue.